Well, turning now to our climate in crisis, we take a look at a slowly unfolding natural disaster in the Central Valley, about halfway between Fresno and Bakersfield, just east of I-5 in the town of Corcoran. And in this area, we've had people working for a century to make California's Tulare Basin a food grower's paradise. But now that pastoral landscape looks more like the Pacific Ocean, as more than 30 square miles is now underwater. And all of those atmospheric river storms pummeled the area and saturated the basin soil. And floods have damaged towns and deluge farms and have begun to refill what was once a sprawling lake. So the floods have pitted neighboring property owners against one another and raised tensions over how to manage the flows, which have damaged hundreds of structures and now more water is on the way. A slow burning crisis will play out uh, next as a historic snowpack looms in the mountains above the basin. As it melts, it is likely to put downstream communities through months of torment. The flooding, which follows several years of extreme drought, is another example of weather whiplash due to the influence of climate change, which can make extremes more intense and more frequent. The reforming of Tulare Lake, which was drained for farming a century ago, could remain on the landscape for years, disrupting growers in a region that produces a significant portion of the nature's supply of almonds, pistachio, milk and fruit. So this will have a ripple effect on the nation's food supply chain and leave farm workers without income for an undetermined amount of time. We'll continue to follow the impacts of the Central Valley's historic flooding on our website, NBC Bay Area area.com as well as our climate in crisis page. Pretty fascinating pictures there as well. Thank you, Carrie.